Welcome, this is Harold Osmer here. Hey, how many guys do you know have a dragon in their living room? Well, I know one. Been friends with him for a couple of years. Happens to be Gary Wales. That's here on the left. Well, he and Kyra were very kind to invite me and a couple of friends over for a tour of his, his shop in the garage and his house. We started off in the shop where he showed off this Bentley Speedster. He says it's his favorite car. He just peeled, black, peeled back the cover there and, uh, you know, gave us a quick tour of it. Wonderful piece. Look at this nice low slung. He did all the coach work and body work and everything else on this. It's wonderful. Up with this. And it's so silly, but it, it only works on, in, you know, 2030s mm -hmm. because this is the only car in the world with a cantilever door that goes around the spare wheels. This wow. is, and, I, and I've checked this out 30 years ago. <laughs> That's it. Now it's really just... Gary and Andreas, who work out there in the shop, they do farm some things out from time to time. Can't do it at all. But it's really just two guys. One knock on uh, Gary is that uh, he's got a big ego. Well, I'm telling you, if you've won the Great American Race and also a couple years later sold the Frenet Bentley for a world record $1.7 million and she's who knows how much all other accolades and awards and things he's deserved along the way. Boy, I tell you, yeah, you'd have a huge ego too. Well, look, over on the other side of the shop, he's got a project, a new project. I'm not really sure what this is. He was quick to tell us, but yeah, it blows right by me. But I tell you, this brand new project he's got going. And at the same time, just across from it, he's completing yet another one. That's a La Bistione over there. He likes to take old American La France fire trucks that are buried up to the axles in the weeds and whatever else and repurpose them as these huge boat tail speedsters. He just loves doing it. A lot of people will look at him and say, eh, I don't like that. And he just says, how'd you do yours? It's what we're going to put on it. Well, I don't like it. Incredible. Well, tough. <laughs> <laughs> These are gorgeous works of art, rolling art, huge dual chain drive, the whole bit. And it's Gary and Andreas, and they crank these things out. He's done multiple ones over the years. He just can't seem to stop himself, so he just keeps going. Works out really well. There's, you can see that chain drive there and the claw and the whole bit, because it is La Bistione, which is French apparently for, well, the beast. <laughs> okay. There you go. So like I say, it started life as a fire truck, and he turns them into these big speedsters. There's our buddy Ed standing there in front of it just for scale. You see how high and huge this thing is. Now, that was just out in the shop. So if we go scoot over to the garage, oh, boy, that's a whole nother world. Now, Gary and Kyra live in a very modest home there in Los Angeles, and... Uh, so there's still room for all of this. That's a Batmobile Speedster over there, built on the same idea as the fire truck turned into a Speedster. And there's a replica car that he picked up along the way a few years ago. He just loves it. It's a Buick Y job with a Corvette running gear and all that sort of thing. You see this roll into a car show. You might as well just go home. <laughs> He's going to win. How can you not? This is just out in the garage now. No, that one right there is uh, is 16 liters, six blocks, one for each cylinder. Okay. These are these are Siamese. No stinking badges. This is why you're running badges. Harry, tell us what. So what what, what, what is the story? You're about? looking at at a 14 liter, 24 plug. American La France, and uh, it's it's a hell of a thing. This is 105 years old. Is this running on pump fuel? Oh yeah, you could piss in a tank if you had a good night before, and it'll still <laughs> run. It's very low compression, but it'll go. And they're geared to do 100 miles an hour. They're all chain drives. Right. 
And uh, I just, this is, they make into magnificent automobiles. And if you want... Look at this. He loves that big fin thing with the boat tail. He's got a, a wood boat friend that comes over and helps him put all that together on there. See the grain in the wood? And that's Steve in the back there. You can see how tall he is and just how big and massive this car is. Look at this workmanship. Walnut dash and steering wheel and all the gauges. Bells and whistles to beat the band, I tell you. I say Gary was uh, very gracious, opened all this up for us. And it's just outstanding. The fenders here were uh, rusted, so that he calls this car rusty. So they were rusty, and he buffed them a little bit, but uh, clear coated over them for a very fascinating effect that uh, you know we're starting to see a little more of too. Well, there's the dash of the Batmobile. It's also a wooden dash on that, but you can see it's sculpted in there. I asked him if he works from plans or anything, and he says no. He gets a vision in his head and decides how he wants to do it, and that's just what comes out. Here's a recent acquisition. He just picked up a 1913 Oldsmobile Defender. That all he had to do was get it in and have it professionally detailed. I mean, down to the finest detail. And that's uh, pretty much it. He's going to make it run and uh, enjoy it for a while. He really loves this car. One problem he's going to have with it is... The, uh, the stuffy car guys are going to say, well, it went to Gary Wells. He probably rebuilt the fenders and redid this and redid that. And Gary's got a reputation for building anything he wants and needs. And so they're going to say, well, you're the guy who changed it around or whatever it is. Well, stuffy car guys. So then we went into the house. We had some dinner. Oh, it was wonderful. Kyra and Gary, very gracious. And a little bit of stained glass here. You know, we all have this in our living room, right? It tells the whole tale up there. And he's got a couple of scary masks. You know, over the years, um, Gary has maintained his house as just kind of a modest house. And he spent all of the rest of the time traveling the world with this car thing. Here we are, swinging swords in the living room. We can all do this, right? <laughs> it's wonderful. Well, Gary has a lot of stuff, a lot of accolades, well-earned, very interesting life. He was happy to share it with us. He was very gracious about the whole thing. And, you know, it's uh, it's terrific to have him in. Have him in as a friend. Look at this. You got stuff to beat the band. When you've had an interesting life, you do get a lot of stuff along the way. And it's wonderful. And that's our buddy, Gary Wales.